Okay, so here we are. We're here at Smith & Walensky on South Beach. Carlos Miller and Matt Melser. And we're going to talk about what we did this year on Miami Beach 411. We had some awesome stories and we had some very, very interesting times. And we're going to look forward to next year, 2012, where we're going to do even better changes. And I tell you, the first thing we're going to tell you is we're going to have a Miami Beach 411 microphone flag on this. So um, you'll know who we are, when we are, although you already know who we are. So Matt, why don't you take over the microphone and tell us what's going on, man? Well, shit, man. It was uh, it, it was a real interesting year. I guarantee you, we did we did more insane, crazy shit this year than we've probably done uh, in all our years with this site combined. I think you know the the first thing obviously was was I think South by Southwest, right? Was was going out to Austin and doing that, which was about a six day blur. Uh, there was more free alcohol there than, I mean, it really was, I've had spring breaks, uh, I think, where I was sober longer than I was in Texas. You wouldn't know it watching the video, though, uh, but definitely an interesting time out there. You got anything, Carlos? Yeah, well, we're paying $12 a drink here at Smith & Walensky. It's definitely not Austin, but, you know, we have a better scenery right here. You know, in a few um, few minutes, we're going to have some cruise ships coming by. So we do want to talk about, you know, the best stories that we thought, at least South by Southwest. That was a great story. You know, I mean, we, we went crazy. We, we, um, we um, I mean, I, I managed to write an article, too, about it. You know, Matt managed to piss everybody off with his article. And, I, you know, I did my share of pissing people off, too, with my, um, with my um, what, what should you call it, the... Um, the um, the social media day, right? Yeah, where we where I got people on video to say fuck sugarcane, and and everybody was very happy doing that. But then when the article came out, they were all pissed off at me, and we had more than a hundred comments on the article, which was really good. It was a, a very debatable article, and we had some good debate, just like Matt did in his South by Southwest article. Yeah, well, we went, we went, we got to go to the Square Grouper premiere, uh, which was you know it was a good movie. Uh, Robert Platchorn was there plugging his. Uh, Certainly his, his legalization movement for seniors. We got to cover the premiere of that movie, which was real exciting. Uh, it's certainly the, uh, the biggest release they'd had since the U. Uh, so it was uh, it was real exciting to be a part of that uh, and, and and get to cover that for them, uh, you know, as, as, as part of the experience. Uh, however, you know, going out there, uh, one thing that hit me was there were a lot of presenters. You know, there were a lot of presenters at South by Southwest, and I, I think past Raconteur there were really none uh, from South Florida. And it made me think, you know, if we're going to be this big, important, quote-unquote, city of the future, like everybody likes to say we are, how come you know, us and Raconteur are basically the South Florida contingent at this major technology convention? And a lot of people didn't like hearing that. You know, people don't like hearing that, that Miami is not as, uh, as, as cool and forward as, as we like to think it is. You know, we're still real far behind when it comes to those things. The Herald published an article last week saying the same damn thing I said, that we're behind in innovation, we're behind on education, we're behind on a lot of things. Uh, and I was saying that nine months ago. Pissed a lot of people off. A lot of social media people came at me. We worked together. This was the first year we worked together. We did video where before, you know, he was writing his articles, I was doing my videos and my articles and my pictures. And, you know, I said, you know what, well, let's start working together. Let's start developing a team effort, which we did. And that was probably one of the first ones we did. And the other one, one of the most interesting ones we did, we ended up getting invited to a porn set. And we were sitting on a porn set, and it was basically, you know, everything was, we were first row seeing this porn, and porn on set, you know, and it's a porn shoot. And um, we, we got to mingle with the porn stars, and they were very nice, they were very down to earth. And, and that, that was cool, I mean, that was a great experience. And I thought. Right, right, but most people don't get invited to the porn sets. And, and the great thing is, I. Right, I mean, this turned out to be the best outtakes I've ever had for video and photos that I was never able to publish. And other than that, let's see, I mean, I covered a lot the Occupy Miami movement, which is a really, really big deal. It's the, you know, obviously stemming from the Occupy Wall Street movement in New York, and that, that's spreading, the, that spread around the country, and we had our own version down here, and, and I covered that with a very analytical eye. Uh, although I'm very supportive of the movement, and they've done some very good things. We actually stormed um, the office of the Senator ben, um, Bill Nelson and Marco Rubio to inform them about this controversial um, bill. We told them not to vote for it, and Rubio did vote for it, and Bill Nelson did not. And, and I had a situation with people not wanting me to take pictures. But, you know, that's always the same thing with me. And another, on my angle, is the Memorial Day weekend. I mean, we had a very controversial shooting here over the weekend. That weekend continues to be very controversial. And we had a, a group of 12 cops empty 100 bullets into one guy who turned out, maybe he had a gun, maybe he did not. The gun was somewhere in the car. We 
don't know. We'll never know. And the weekend continues to be controversial. Interesting. This was the first year we actually acted like real journalists and, and went out and actually covered stuff. Uh, we went to a, a couple of commission meetings. Uh, me and Carlos went to a town hall meeting at the Lowe's because only in Miami Beach do you have a town hall meeting at a luxury hotel with a view of the ocean. Uh, I went and got to talk to Commissioner Libin and some of the other commissioners and Maddie Bauer about the Memorial Day issues. Uh, then we, I had an opportunity to go to a follow-up meeting at City Hall uh, the next week and kind of talk a little bit about uh, a little more about possible solutions to have. It seems like a lot of people threw around a lot of good ideas, but from what I've heard, from what the city's done so far, they really haven't done anything. Uh, so we'll see. You know, we'll see what comes out. But it was real interesting actually to go out and be journalists and go to one of those things, take notes, take video, conduct some interviews, uh, and then I go out and write the story the next day. It's really the first time we've gotten to do that, I think, for this site, and it was a real. It was a real interesting new experience to do, uh, as opposed to just writing columns or writing reviews uh, to actually report on things going on in the city. And I think that was a, a real interesting thing to do. And, and you know, then we met N.W. Buchanan, who like really uh, Matt just wrote the article. I shot the video, took some photos. N.W. Buchanan has always been one of my favorite writers. I mean, she for the day I was a you know. I was a high school guy, you know, high school teenager, just getting into journalism. It, she was the one that inspired me to become a journalist. And Matt has his own influence as well. And we got to meet her, and she was very, very cool. I mean, this was one of the most down to earth women you'll ever meet. And and she's cool with us, you know. She she really loved us. And we 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 had that that we did the dolphin charity where we got to ride around in the golf cart, golf cart, and and drink, and, you know, because you know they were giving it to us for, for, for free. And we really, I mean, now we're paying twelve dollars, but you know, when they're giving it away for free and we're doing it in the name of journalism, we don't want to be rude to not accept the free booze, you know. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Yeah, that tournament, like, it was one of those things that came out of left field. I think the NFL lockout, you, they were looking for any kind of good publicity they could get, and they just said, oh, Miami Beach 4 one sure, you know, let's invite them too. And we go out there, and I will tell you, we were treated better by the Miami Dolphins than we have been treated by much lower class organizations. I mean, the Dolphins are an institution in this city, and if anybody would have the right to say, you know, we're not going to let you cover our stuff, it would be them. And they invited us in. Uh, they treated us just like they treated Channel 10, just like they treated the Herald. They gave us full access to all the players, all the coaches, put Carlos out on a boat uh, with, who is uh, Brian Hardline, Brian on Hardline, uh, you know, let us into the banquet. We got we got sauced a couple times there. Which <laughs> we were driving. I remember driving home from the, the country club where it was at Aventura at 11 in the morning. Shit faced, man. Like we'd been out on the course for like three hours, just pounding beers, pounding beers. And I'm thinking, how cool would it be to get a DUI at 11:30 in the morning, driving home on a Friday? Who, who else can say that? I just blame the Dolphins. I'm going to take this away from him before he incriminates himself anymore. Oh There's another thing I'm going to say here, and I'm going to say this, I'm going to put Gus on, on the spot here. We are going to redesign Miami Beach 411. We are going to do that in 2012. We are going to redesign that site, and that's it. We're going to make it more efficient. It's going to look better. It's going to be. It's going to present our articles, our videos, and a lot. You know, just we're going to promote ourselves more, and, and you know, our, our journalism stuff, our videos, and our photos, and our articles. And we are going to redesign the site, and that's it, Gus. If we don't do it, then I look like a liar. One, one other thing I want to say is next year, Miami Beach 4 and 1 has uh, tickets in the new Marlins Stadium to 41 of the Miami of the 41 Miami Marlins games. We split them with uh, former form member Fred Garvin. So uh, we'll be covering a lot of the Marlins next year, good, bad, or, or indifferent. You hate the logo, though. I hate the logo. The I, I've gotten to meet David Sampson a few times. Uh, yeah, he was all right. We, uh, I was with um, Lindsay interviewing for, for a reality show the other day at the new stadium. And, um, so we'll, we'll be covering that a lot next year. we got great seats. Uh, I'm very excited about that, being a lifelong baseball fan and a lifelong Marlins fan. Uh, and there's our drinks. Excellent. Thank you. Thank what do you have to say, bro? Miami Beach 411. Merry Christmas. No, see, Miami Beach 411. Miami Beach 411.